This is a milestone morning in Iraq, and a member of the News 8 team has a large role in it. As our troops prepare to return home, today's going to be the last broadcast from American Forces Network, or AFN, in Iraq. Wish TV's multimedia photojournalist and Army Sergeant Adam Prickle is a DJ for the network. Today was his last day on the air. The last time we talked with him on daybreak, Sergeant Prickle had just announced the death of Osama bin Laden, so he knows these uh, headlines well and the uh, milestone days. He joins us from Baghdad this morning. Uh, I still feel in your civilian clothes like I'll call you Adam, but uh, you've certainly earned the right to be called Sergeant Prickle to us uh, and, and always. Thanks for being with us. Final shift for you this morning. How did it go? It, it went great, Scott. We had a lot of fun. Like, like you said in your intro there, we do the uh, morning show, and my partner and I, Ta Sergeant Townsend, always have a whole lot of fun doing the morning show. But even though our morning shift is done, we are going to come back for the last two or three hours with all the DJs. We're all going to come together and just kind of do a roundtable discussion about uh, how much fun it's been being a DJ on Freedom Radio. And also, a big emphasis will be thanking the troops that have always listened to us. We know they're out there working hard, and we just uh, try to be entertaining for them. And, and, Sergeant, what has this been like for you? I mean, as you wrap up this final day, you've been inspirational and also provided a lot of information for the troops out there in Iraq. What kind of reaction have you gotten? Uh, we've gotten a really good reaction from the troops and from, you know, from what we call our shadow audience, which is the, the Iraqi audience as well. We get a lot of Facebook Next posts door. from people going to maybe Baghdad University. And it's, uh, it's always interesting to see that we have that interaction as as well but uh you know we, we always have a lot of fun and the troops always give us good support and we have one instance where we had a facebook post from a wife of a soldier and she said hey my husband said uh talked to me on the phone and said that he listens to your guys' show can you play a request for him because i know he's listening and that was that one hit me really hard because it meant that one of the soldiers had taken time out of their day to tell their family about how funny or goofy we are and that he took, you know, he spoke to his <laughs> wife back home about us. This is, uh, of course, the, the current iteration of what was years ago, Armed Forces Radio, now American Forces Network with the radio component of it. Uh, in, in past wars, we have found that the community that these soldiers are in embraces the radio station in a, in a way as well. Uh, you and I talked yesterday. You found that to be true. The civilians that, that you are surrounded by seem to have really grown attached to you. Yes, it's, it's interesting the last couple of weeks, you know, we've been promoing this transition from live broadcast and DJ to a feed that will be coming from Europe. And since we've been promoting that, we've been getting Facebook posts or interaction, like I said before, from the Iraqis themselves who, who have said they've always loved listening to our music and listening to the DJs downtown. And that, that's important to us. Well, my partner and I, when we first got here, we were actually roommates as well. And we were watching David Letterman and Jimmy Page from Led Zeppelin was on there. And he told the story about when he was growing up in Europe, he was listening to AFN well, you know, way back then. It, it inspired him to do what he's doing. So then you know, that made us stop and pause that you know, maybe 20, 30, 40 years from now, maybe some of these Iraqis will have been influenced by us. And, and who knows what the possibilities are. Absolutely, you're continuing tradition over there. What is next for you, Sergeant? Uh, well, as soon as we shut down the, uh, the live broadcast tonight, it's time to start packing things up for us, and hopefully we'll get home uh, fairly soon. All right, as you know, as you're a journalist, when you come back here, sometimes you have tough mm -hmm. questions, so I'll ask you a tough one. The work there, uh, do you uh, have the perspective that we have reached a point where we can leave uh, and, and feel like the, uh, the work will have done some good? Uh, definitely. You know, I deployed from 2007 to 2008 for 15 months, and that was definitely the surge. I was attached to the 3rd Infantry Division at that time, and I was going out shooting video with these infantry guys. And when we first got into country in 2007, there were 25 attacks a day. When I left in 2008, there were two attacks per day. So even just in that time span, I could see a difference. And now I'm on my second deployment, it being uh, no longer Operation uh, Iraqi Freedom, it's Operation New Dawn, you can see the State Department stepping up and doing a great job helping these Iraqis build things like infrastructures or build radio stations. When we first got here, or you know, back in 2007, we were really the only radio station on the dial, and now there's four, five, six, seven Iraqi radio stations. So even just in the field of radio, you can see how the Iraqis have developed and improved things for themselves, and that, that's great to see. 
That is pretty neat. How has the reaction then from the Iraqi people been to you, to the troops, knowing that you're leaving? Uh, it's 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 been kind of mixed, but you know the we uh, I interviewed uh, L Lieutenant General Helmrich the other day. He was giving us a little promo for the show, and he said, you know, Operation New Dawn, we, we've done a great job. We gave the Iraqis an opportunity to succeed, and that that's what really sunk in with me. We we've done our job. We've given them every opportunity that they need, and I think they're very thankful for that. Sergeant Adam Prickle, thank you for the time this morning. Thank you for the service, obviously. When you come back stateside, your inbox is very full. So we've got work waiting for you, and we can't wait to see you, friend. Great. Thanks. It was good Safe talking to you, back. too. Thank you.